Tom, thank you for joining us. Back at Vicarage Road on Saturday for the home clash with Preston. I'm sure you're hoping to turn the home form around and, and pick up your first home win in the process, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, the home form has been something that's that's concerned us this season. Uh, I know how important that is from, from the last promotion season we had. Unfortunately, that was in empty stadiums. So, yeah, I feel like it's been since 18, 19 season, they've really had a period of good home form to, to shout about in a full stadium and and I thought the Leeds atmosphere was fantastic, the performance matched it and unfortunately we couldn't hold on, um, a similar case at West Brom so we'll be looking to put that, that right this weekend and reward these fans with, with a long overdue home win. And so far three unbeaten games for yourself but the feeling that there could be some more points on the board, how do you look to improve on a promising start to your career as interim head coach? Yeah, so so continue with the performance level, and then it's those small details, those that little bit of um, overcoming fatigue at the end of games t to make sure we see it out. Um, and but oh, I've been thoroughly pleased with with how we've performed for an hour against Leeds, and then second half against West Brom is is really really promising. Uh, I said I want to build an optimism and a belief that we can compete at the top end. Uh, and that is growing and I think it'll grow even more if those draws turn into wins. And you've spoken about the need for consistency. Do you feel this game offers the perfect opportunity for the players to demonstrate that? Yeah, opportunity, uh, challenge, um, because yeah, Preston are nine points above us in the league for a reason, uh, eight or nine points, whatever it is, they're, they're where they are in the league for a reason. They're, they're a solid team, a very well-coached team. Um, experience at this level, so yeah, it's it's not as easy as just going out there and say consistency. And but the, the challenge for us is our own performance, control what we can control, um, apply ourselves how we have done in the last three games. We do those things and we give our be ourselves the best chance. And can you just give us an update of the fitness of the squad, especially those that were missing on Monday? Yeah, so the fitness of the, of the squad is improving all, all the time. We're Ngaki and Sema getting closer and closer. They're on pitch rehab now, so that's always seven to ten days away from rejoining the team. And then Georgie and Jack Greaves uh, recovered from their illnesses that, that made them unavailable on Monday and, and should be in contention for, for the squad on, on Saturday. And since you've come in, you've been giving opportunities to a few of the younger players. So Masar Edwards on the bench and Albert Ames has been in and around the squad. How impressive have you been with them since they've been stepped up? Yeah, so it's, it's something I've, I've thought all season is Albert Ames should be around the first team squad. His performances in the 18s and 21s and his all-round attitude um, is deserved of that. Zav has, I think, impressed everyone since coming up. Um, the players, uh, the staff, uh, his, his attitude and his sort of the way he's not phased him making that step up. Uh, I was more than comfortable including him in the squad and, and it's, it's important these lads don't feel like talking gestures to, to get the, the academy some re representation. It's their live substitutes, they're, they're with us because I think they can help the team and 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 Greavesy and, and Ryan and I'm sure I've missed someone but, but yeah, Ryan's been the flag bearer for that which which is a great to see that these lads see this journey is a realistic one. And how have you found it coming into the role midway through the season? Um, yes, I always try and work as hard as I possibly can so I'm prepared for it. I don't think academy football was a good learning ground but I don't think anyone can prepare you for this. Uh, anything can prepare you for, for what we've stepped into. What I can say is the support I've had, the players, the staff, um, the, the supporters have made it a much easier transition for me and, and yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it and feel like we're doing as, as well as we can. And you spoke about it's almost feeling like a pre-season. How important has that been? Yeah, I think the period of time we had in the international break meant that we we could get some quality work in, get get as many of our principles uh, to into the players, um, and it's I think it's been been naturally good for the group that a new coach has sort of freshened it up, and so the the end of the season didn't sort of peter out in into a mid-table 
demotivated end of the season. And I think it's had that pre-season freshness about it that we have some, we still have something to play for. That the players are still motivated, um, and and yeah, we're just concentrating now on on winning each each of the last six games. So since you've come in, uh, you've moved to uh, three at the back, despite conceding twice against Leeds and West Brom. How are you? How are you happy with how you, the players have played in that shape? Yeah, so it's funny. I think that the most open we've been defensively is against Birmingham when we were in a back four. We changed to that. I've been much more happy with the shape of the team, the how solid we've been. Um, and but ironically, you can see two in in the next two games. Okay, against very strong opposition. Um, but I think our the four centre halves that have played so far, and Schuylter, Pollock, Por, uh, Porteous, and Hoop, have been top performers, and, and all the time behind that, Dan's been rock solid. He, he won us the three points at Birmingham. He, he was good again against Leeds, and then the last two games have produced two exceptionally good goals. The first goal at West Brom was heavily deflected. So, although we can always analyse how we stop these chances uh, being created, I think yeah. We can count ourselves that we're not going to come up against worldly strikes every game, and and the but I'm really pleased with the back three and and Dan's performances. And just looking at the opponents on Saturday, what do you think you can expect from Preston? So Preston are a well organised uh, outfit, like I said, experienced at this level. Um, they they win jewels, they they work hard, they have quality. Um, and yeah, like I said, they're ninth for a reason. They they do they do what they do well, um, and we we're making our players fully aware of the challenge uh, that, is, that is upon us. I know we had a very very positive result when we played them at their place, but uh, we understand that the, the challenge ahead. And the fans have been excellent since you've come in. Um, yeah, great atmosphere at Vicarage Road on Friday, especially at Leeds. How important is the role that they can play on Saturday? Yeah, it's, I always think that the players should be the catalyst. But when when the, the two work hand in hand, it's a special place to be. Uh, that happened on Friday evening, and we hope to replicate that as many times at Vicarage Road as from now to the end of the season. But the away support has been fantastic as well. You know, um, we're feeling very well supported as a team and as a staff, and and we hope that we can repair that. We'll work as hard as we can to repair that in good performances. Brilliant. Thank you, Tom. Cheers.